A state-of-the-art, multi-purpose research vessel, the Dr. Fridjof Nansen hits the water. This is the third ship launched in a unique partnership between Norway and the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Research coordinator Torre Strome has worked on board the previous two Nansen ships. Uh, it, it, is, it is for me personally surprising to see that this project is around after so many years. So even if we are looking now 40 years backwards, I, I would say quite optimistically that we can also now project our vision 20 years forwards. Over four decades, the Nansen research vessels have sailed the equivalent of 60 times around the globe. They have discovered new resources and collected valuable data to help coastal developing countries manage their fisheries and protect their marine environments. Using sophisticated technology, scientists measure the ocean properties, including temperature, salinity and oxygen. Trawl nets capture what is in the sea at different depths to monitor fish stocks. The seabed is mapped using echo sounders and sediment samples are scooped up for analysis in the ship's laboratories. Scientists from survey countries join the work on board, counting and identifying their finds. All data and information is entered into a database providing a snapshot of the state of the ocean. With regular monitoring, changes in sea properties, fish numbers, and entire marine ecosystems become apparent. Coastal communities are often most affected by these changes, as loss of resources they rely on can devastate local economies. Owned and shared by survey countries, the database provides essential information for the development of fisheries policies, leading to better and more sustainable use of ocean resources. The work of the Nansen is unique, and is unique because it brings people from Africa, many of whom would never have been at sea, to do research in their waters for their benefit of their resources and their management. That is fantastic. In the next phase of the Dr. Fridjof Nansen, we're actually going to see the cruise, the vessel collecting data from African waters, some of the least observed waters in the world, and that allows us to put Africa and the Southern Hemisphere waters in context with the global observations. The new vessel is ready to take on the challenge to build on the previous four decades, improving, updating and sharing knowledge to protect the world's oceans and their resources.